The movie Garfield Gets Real is an autobiographical movie that I made about myself. If you look it up on IMDb, you can actually find it. But yeah, uh, today we're going to be doing our final laddering session with Kamoo, and then tomorrow we'll be team building to see what team we'll be using on Thursday, Friday, and into next week. Edu. Is this uh, the Edu? Okay, so we see Regigigas wheezing and a Ferrothorn. I actually have to look. I know Ferrothorn won the Brisbane, bleh, Brisbane, the Brisbane Regionals. Um, and I don't know if this is the team that won. I haven't looked at those results at all. Uh, but if there was a team where I think Kamo could do something, this would be it. I think this would be it. Uh, let's do this. My Thunderous isn't going to be faster than that thing, so I can't do what I want to do. But I still think that the Blastoise Thunderous lead isn't a bad idea for that reason. Is that... Is it a bad idea? I'm going to go Blastoise Kamoa, actually. This is probably like a really bad <laughs> combination, but I want to see how well I can do with Kamoa in the first game. Yeah, no, we had a lot of options versus um, Incineroar, so we, we never really struggled versus it. Trying to get my energy back, so I'm eating some chocolate cookies. Dude, I can't eat another bite. I, uh, I was, I was starving, dude. Like, I, I got up late for my class, and I had to run to class, and, um, I was just like, okay, I gotta, I gotta go, and I, I have, like, class, and then work, and then another class, like, all back to back, so I wasn't free, like, the first meal I had was an hour ago, and all I did was just stuff my face with Burger King, and I haven't had Burger King in a long time, so I feel disgusting. So, yeah. How much do you want to bet this is the best play? Cannonade you, and I'm going to Iron Defense. <laughs> this is such a bad play, I'm going to be honest. This is a bad play. But I want to see, because this, this player's ranked like 6,000 something. If they're not terribly familiar with the game, I might be able to like kind of move on them with just Iron Defensing once with a Kamoa. Like, I don't really use either of my abilities in this situation. You can't tell me that Ball Guy in a, as a fighter in Super Smash Brothers wouldn't be based. It would be. It would be. I'll be honest. Yeah, that would be a really great fighter. Okay, let's see. Does he let me get a free iron defense off? How'd I do in the IC? I didn't play many matches. I think I played like six or seven. And I know I only lost one. But I think I hit like rank six. I hit like 1600 points and stopped playing. Because I was just busy over the weekend. I had to do some quantum homework, some electrodynamics homework. Uh, and I also played in a tournament that I won over the weekend. That's got to be into the Blastoise. Oh no, it's into the Kamo. So we lost the Kamo. Oh no, we didn't. That's pretty cool. He let me cannonade that um, Weezing for free, which is a bad idea. Congrats on the turn you win with Hop. Thank you. Substitute? Oh, never mind. I didn't get to do that for free. Not, not as gaming as I thought it was. Okay. That thing takes residual damage now. So, that's pretty nice. I'm also going to get some leftovers recovery here. Okay. Uh, I don't see a reason not to just protect and hit it again. I can't go for my uh, max hailstorm though, which would technically be optimal as it would break another sub and give them more residual damage. Uh, I can't do that, unfortunately, because that would end up causing my Kamo to lose all the leftovers recovery it's getting. <laughs> Ash Ketchum, how you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. A lot to do this week in terms of school, but I think I have time to stream.
I probably lose the Kamo here. No, okay, I keep the Kamo as they probably just crit me, to be honest. That's definitely a crit. Which really sucks. I don't know if I get knocked out by Sludge Bomb. Okay, yeah, not on that. Uh, so they're going to lose this guy. Yeah, no, that was a really unfortunate crit. Because I would have been in a, a decent... I would have been at a decent amount of health. How's Blastoise? Blastoise is, like, really good in this format. I think it's, like... It's... Everyone knows that Blastoise is good. Like, it's by default good, considering it's G-Max. Uh, but I think it's still underrated despite that. Like, it doesn't get as much recognition as it should. Okay. I have been max stricken twice. So my Blastoise is definitely about to go down. Um... I'm going to let it go down. I'm going to attempt to protect with my Kamo, even though I doubt I'm going to get it off. Um, and it's also technically optimal to max strike this thing in case it's in case it's actually like Scarf. I, I don't expect my, my Blastoise to even get to attack. Yeah, I'm going to lose both of my Mons here, but it's not the end of the world. And judging by the fact that it went before the Regigigas... I'm going to hazard to say it's Scarf. Uh, Jolly Regigigas is pretty standard. And we never speed drop that thing. So yeah, uh, Sucker Punch seems to be my best play. They're locked into Water Spout. And I am a special defensive Zacian, so I'm kind of safe. I like to have Randish for recovery in the rain. Yeah, Randish is pretty cool for recovery, but I, I typically run Torrent just because Torrent's like super nice for just when you're at less than a when you're at like a third of your health, all of a sudden like that hydro cannon or that cannonade just hits like a truck. Like it is such a beautiful move. Uh my best play here is gonna be to protect and sucker punch. Cause I'm I wanna say they're scarfed. That the fact they went before Gigas is a pretty good indicator they're scarfed unless they're adamant Gigas and timid Kyogre. Oh, you're right. I forgot the Gigas is at half speed now. Completely forgot about that. I'm still going to say it's scarf though. I'm still going to bank off of that. Why? Because it's a Kyogre. Because it's a Kyogre. <laughs> Water Spout. Alright, we cut that damage by quite a bit. And I'm AV. So that does like nothing to Eval at all. Uh, Giga Impact would kind of suck here. But they don't get it. Okay. And they're still taking the Cannonade damage, which is pretty nice. Is there one more turn of Cannonade or two? There's no more turns of Cannonade. Okay, that's uh, that's good to know. My play here is no longer to Sucker Punch. I'm never going to lose my Zacian or Yveltal to this hit. Uh, I now want to go for Snarl. And now I hope it's not Scarf. <laughs> now I really hope it isn't. Did you and Hopcat win yesterday's tournament? Yes. Yes, we did. They withdraw. Um, that... The withdraw there makes me think, yeah, they're Scarf. That makes me think, yes, they are indeed Scarf. Uh, on the bright side, I avoided any damage this turn. Why not Oblivion Wing to get more recovery? That was an option too, um, but the reason I didn't Oblivion Wing that turn is if it wasn't Scarf and I was incorrect there, uh, it would have been in my best interest just to permanently lower the damage to make it much easier to deal with the um like the possible origin pulse that would come out so that was the thought process there okay now here's where i have to make uh, a pretty rough decision uh and that's 
do I think that they can... Let me think. I, I think I have to Sucker Punch and Behemoth Blade the Zacian to win. I think I have to, because they're not going to lock into Water Spot anymore. They're going to lock into Origin Pulse. And I think they want to get rid of the Eveltal. And I'm Special Defensive, so... Yeah, I think in order to guarantee... I KO the Zacian this turn, I need to do this. Marcos, could you try a Ray Zacian team? I actually used one on the channel a little while ago. Yeah, it was Scarf. I called it. Okay. So they should be doubling the Eveltal here if they were interested in winning. Okay. So here's why I did that. Uh, I'm at half health. If I KO the Zacian here, all I have to do is protect on this last turn of rain, and I should be able to survive an Origin Pulse. And then I just go for Play Rough and win. How much speed do you have in Eveltal? I forget. <laughs> I forget, but it's it's a lot. Alright, that crit probably didn't matter. And yeah, uh, they could also miss here. That's another thing that they could do. Let me protect. Unpopular opinion, the mod I definitely don't want to see in Scarlet and Violet is Grimmsnarl. I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion. I think a few people share that sentiment. Okay. So here's the question. What do I live? It might be a roll because I'm at about half health. And I survived. I, I took about half from a origin pulse in the rain with two targets. But now that it's single target outside of the rain, do I take the same amount or do I take less? I think I take slightly less. And that's going to decide the game here. Or they can just miss. That's also a thing. Anyways, yeah, good game. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was... that was. Uh, I mean, we won, but it was a little anticlimactic, you know? That was kind of anticlimactic. Yeah, uh, pretty sick. Pretty sick right there. On ASAP. <clears throat> and this is kind of interesting. Um, I want to say that it's going to be weakness policy Groudon with floral, not floral healing, but triage Giga Drain on the, uh, you know, on the on the Groudon to proc weakness policy. It also has Trick Room to help out with the the Dialga. And I don't know what Blacephalon's doing here. I don't know what he thought gave him the right. But we're going to go Blastoise Thunderous on lead. It seems to be extremely safe versus this team. And in the back here, um, this is another case where I said, hey, Kamoa's great versus Sun teams, but this is not a standard Sun team. This is Dialga Comfey. <laughs> so Kamoa's not actually good here. Uh, Eveltal is definitely really good, though. And I think I might actually leave the Zacian at home. Uh, in exchange for Incineroar? Yeah, I'll do that. Right now, I think I'm in Great Ball 8. Started like four days ago in Tier 1. Yo, honestly, when you have to start from Tier 1, it is not fun. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I understand that. Like, the grind from Tier 1 after not playing for a season is the worst. Century Egg. Uh, Comfey being fair and balanced. Lecephalon, Mind Blowns, I guess. Maybe Trick Room. Yeah. That's why I'm leading off with the Thunderous. I can just set up the rain and the Blacephalon does nothing but hurt itself. It's Blacephalon Groudon, everyone. I am going to make it rain. Oh, I know what this is. It's telepathy. Uh, it, it's going to be like telepathy. What is it? Uh, telepathy uh, Dialga. So there's no reason not to cannonade and rain dance here, and then I keep both of my mons. And then the Blace the Blacephalon just suffers. It just suffers. That's so funny. Yep, no, there it is. I think that's one of the most underrated things about playing this game for so long. 
Um, you just... You can look at stuff and just know. <laughs> Pyro, thank you so much for the for the raid, dude. But yeah, no, I, I totally called that. Even though it's not a meta strat, even though it's not popular, you can look at the pieces on another person's team and just figure that out. Like, okay, yeah, no, that's telepathy on the Dialga. They're going to mind blown here. And that's why Prankster Rain Dance is the most based thing in the game. wonder if it's Specs or Scarf, though. I can probably tell by the damage. Yep. Uh, that is Scarf. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that damage. Congratulations. Now, this is a resisted hit. Resisted. Uh, and you're gonna take some, uh, you're gonna take some residual here, bud. There's absolutely no reason for this thing to stay in as well. Like, it gains nothing. Gotta clean up the house before bed, but have a good stream, man. Have a nice night, Pyrotas. Appreciate the raid. Alright, Groudon's just gonna come right back in. Guarantee it. Send in the Groudon. Reduce the damage. Think you have big smart, but then find out my smart bigger. Therefore, your smart small. There it is. Me smart bigger than they smart. And rain dance again. <laughs> I always have trouble playing against Thunderous because you can never tell if it's a uh, Prankster Defiant until it's way too late. True. That's something that uh, I don't like about Thunderous, to be honest. 80 viewers right now. I I think that it's going to be a lot easier to get partnered on Twitch now that I've been putting out those VGC lore videos because I can funnel all the VGC lore fans into like the regular stuff. <laughs> Because I'm gonna make, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing them. I'm gonna release three each week. And here's actually a fun thing I was gonna do. I was gonna release a VGC lore video. Um, what's it called? I was gonna release a VGC lore video three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then once I hit roughly 60 minutes worth of VGC lore, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and I should get rid of Groudon because then I just beat it. I beat the entire team. And because then I'm just gonna go ahead and um, Thunderbolt here get like all of the videos and upload them in one hour long video called one hour worth of VGC lore and information. <laughs> I think that'd be funny. Oh, he's Dynamaxing. But who's it gonna be? Who will it be? I guess I could have Thunder Waved. Uh, mm, I'm, I'm a Dynamax Blastoise, so I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I live this. Unless it's AV Groudon, I should, like, always KO here. Blaze Kick? How many fire moves do you have, dude? Anyways, this thing's gone. Unless it's AV. Uh, nah. Uh, that's not AV. Even though it lived, that's not AV. The entirety of the five nights at VGC lore. <laughs> what do you think Gen 9's gimmick will be like? I hope it doesn't exist. I hope Gen 9's gimmick is good gameplay. And it's dead. Dude, I can only imagine what it's like from this guy's perspective. Noble or noble, <laughs> noble, noble. Thank you so much for the follow. I can only imagine what this guy's perspective is like, thinking that he had like, uh, like the jump on me with like the the initial first turn play, only to find out that my thunderous was rain dance. Like he's facing like so many things at once here. It's like rain dance, hydro cannon, uh, just immediate damage, going for thunderbolt to KO that thing. All of a sudden your Blacephalon's useless. Freddy Fazbear falls from the sky. Like a, a bunch of things are going on here that he's just not prepared for.
How many turns of Cannonade are left? There's one turn left of Cannonade. I think he wants to target the Thunderous. I'm going to do this because I think it's funny. Yeah, and now Thunder Wave. <laughs> and now Thunder Wave. And thank you for the follow, Charcoal. I live that. And I get my berry. I hope Gen 9's gimmick is that specifically those G-Max moves do 6,000 damage and the turn doesn't exist. <laughs> or at, at damage at the at the of the turn don't exist. I don't know what that one meant, but I, I like I like the idea. Just breaking G-Max even more than it is right now. <laughs> what do I hope Gen 9's gimmick is? I hope Gen 9's gimmick is that everyone who liked Dynamax in Generation 8 doesn't get to play the game. <laughs> I'm joking, of course, but yeah, no, I'm, if you don't know, I'm not a big Dynamax fan. Behold. The play. I can't even Eerie Impulse, my guy. It's just funny. Oh, wait, I can. You can side target. This should still KO. Yeah. Because I was going to say, my Thunderous can't attack anyways. I might as well see if I can KO with a Snarl at minus two. Oh, a Lightning. It lives. Nice. <laughs> Wooper's new ability. Make it so Wooper instantly faints all non-Wooper Pokemon. Okay, so basically he's very small. Nah, I didn't throw. I just wanted to see if I could KO at minus two. I still have, an, like, my Zacian in the back. Yeah, Max Lightning Groudon isn't terribly common. You'll see it once in a while, so they don't get... Here's the thing. If you're going to run Max Lightning Groudon, it's it's hard to justify because, yes, it hits... It, yes, it hits Kyogre. Yes, it hits Eveltal. But, um, you could also just run, like, a Venusaur and Rock Slide. And yes, that's two Pokemon, but then you get to use G-Max Venusaur, and that's, like, in itself just broken. Okay, so, this is kind of interesting. Uh, that's an Alolan Persian. I haven't seen that in a while, but I kind of want to build around it now. Now I really want to build around it. Hold on. Uh, but that is a Razation team. A, a comp... What was it called? A, uh, a team composition that I was a big fan of at the beginning of the format, but I've dropped since then. And let's see if I was wrong to do that. Um, yeah, no, I can I can do this. I think Thunderous Zacian is actually a really solid lead versus this. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll bring my Incineroar in the back. I think my last mon is... I definitely don't want to bring, bring Blastoise. Blastoise doesn't do too much here. Actually, no. Wait, Blastoise goes crazy. Why, why would I not bring Blastoise on lead? Like, look at their team. Yeah, I don't care about Regieleki. I'm going to one-shot it anyways. Like, like, what am I thinking? What was I actually thinking not leading off Blastoise? Venusaur has been kind of lacking. I can see why it's lacking. But... Inherently speaking, anything with that type of G-Max move is never going to be lower than, like, A or B tier in any kind of, like, Pokemon tier list. You know? Like, just dealing damage over time is just busted. Regieleki Whimsicott. Okay. 
Uh, riddle me this, Regieleki. You may be able to fake tears me, but will you be able to stop me from just doing this instead, Stinky? I really hope he Dynamaxes the Regieleki and loses it immediately. I don't like this. Could it be physical Aleki? If it's physical Aleki, I don't go down anyways, I think. I don't think I go down if it's physical Aleki. If it's special Aleki, I have to be careful of fake tears, and that's it. No, DJ Prime, we're also including Colossal. Colossal has the same effect as the uh, other Pokemon, or as the starter Pokemon. Okay, he's going to be special lucky and he's going to fake tears me, but I'm going to eerie impulse him and then he's going to cry. If he tailwinds here, that'd actually be a lot funnier. Because then it just deals no damage. You know, I'm saying this, but I'm kind of the king of being crit, so... There's a possibility that that happens as well. We can't discount that. Tailwind, let's go! You've decided to deal no damage this turn! Unless, of course, you're physical, which I suppose we'll be finding out your set momentarily. That... That had to be special. If, you, if a life orb comes out, that's special. Okay, I don't know what item that is anymore. Point is, we got my damage over time move. Okay, now I have to answer a very scary question. No, I don't. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna Thunder Wave this Whimsicott, because if I recall, he has no switch ins to that. Yeah, not e I mean, they could send in the Persian, but. It could be Magnet, and now I have to check if the Whimsicott's actually running Fake Tears by protecting. Because I could get a lot more value out of my Blastoise now. Uh, not only by beating the Aleki, but if I can keep my Blastoise for Fake Out, that'd be really nice. Fake Out gets so much better when the opponent can't Dynamax. Oh, Fake Tears into the Thunderous. Um, I'm a special defensive and you're still at minus two, so I think I live. No, I don't. No, no, I don't. Okay. Here's the issue. Here's uh here's the issue. I don't want to send in the Incineroar. <laughs> I really don't. But I kind of have to. Yeah, I kind of have to. No, I knew the floor I knew the that the floor was electrified. I knew we had a lactic terrain up, but I I definitely thought I would live it because of the special defense investment I have. Uh, I'm going to say they're probably Magnet, judging by that. Um, Lair Bits is probably my best play here. I'm going to attempt the double max guard. The floor here is made of floor. Let's see if I get the double max guard. Nope. Okay. Uh, this is at least doable, I think. I still have a nearly full health Incineroar. 
and a special defense of Zacian. So this is going to take a little bit of finagling, but I think we can do it. Oh, it's just a Persian. Okay. Um, I, if I can get a substitute off here, I'd be very happy. I'd be very happy if I could get a substitute off here. Because I don't believe Persian can KO me unless this thing's running like Choice Banded Technician beat up. For that reason, I'm also going to be Flare Blitzing the Persian. Yep. So here's why I'm not targeting the Whimsicott. Uh, Flare Blitz shouldn't KO. They're weak to it because of Fur Coat. Um, but it's not going to KO. If I KO'd the Whimsicott there, they would have gotten a free switch into the Zacian. And that's no good. That's no good for me. It's on this turn I Flare Blitz the Whimsicott and I go for the Substitute. Alternatively, I could cause a 2v1. Because I think their last Pokemon has to be Zacian or Rayquaza, which I, I would be able to beat in this situation. Um... I think I go for the Substitute. Yeah, I think I go for the Substitute. Because I don't believe Foul Play will break my, my sub. Yeah, no, that, that doesn't break a sub. Especially because they're burned. Okay, so uh, I'm now pretty hopeful that their last Pokemon's Rayquaza, because I think I might be within range of a Sacred Sword. Okay, it's Zacian. My play here is going to be to double the Zacian. I need the damage. Yeah. They could also just double foul play me. I don't know if I don't I don't know if two foul plays breaks my sub due to the fact they're burned. It might be a roll. Could be a roll, I'm not certain. Foul play. Onto the Zacian. Sacred Sword. Nope, don't live. It's going to come down to the roll. Unless I crit here, obviously. Why is it slow? Uh, bulky Zacian's really, really good. It's, it's just super, super good. Um, and for that reason, them revealing that it's slow is also encouraging me just to protect here. Because even though I'm a super slowization, they might be slower. I'm actually an adamant Zacian, but I run enough speed to outspeed um, Timid Max Special Attack, or Timid Max Speed Thunderous. Alright, hopefully Tailwind runs out here. I think there might be one more turn. <laughs> There might be one more turn. Yeah, there's still a turn of Tailwind. Uh, I have to hope they don't break my sub to win now. Or I could go for the double protect. That's another option. Which do I believe more in? I'm just going to attack. Substitute faded. Looks like I lose.
All right, good game. Yeah, that was a pretty cool Persian set. I mean, we only saw Foul Play and Fake Out, but you already know they had like Snarl and Parting Shot on there. Yeah, so if you're wondering why I didn't go for the Double Protect, it's a 30% chance to Double Protect. <laughs> and uh, I'd rather just hope for the roll. Oh, Icy Wind, that's actually kind of clean. Yeah, they were Magnet. Do they have Swords Dance or Dragon Dance? Neither. Oh! They have no speed investment whatsoever. No, I should have gone for the Double Protect. The Double Protect would have been better there. I, okay, I'll admit it then. <laughs> 